Hi, I'm Dave Martin, and this is Flavor Quest. Flavor Quest is going to be a weekly journey that is going to share and explore other flavors and methods and techniques that you may not know about. Today's fancy sounding but simple method or technique is we're going to be learning about mirepoix. A mirror what? A mirror who? Okay. <laughs> Donna and Andrea are here with me in the kitchen today so that we can learn. And I need to learn a lot, Dave Martin. That's not a problem. So today what we're going to do is we're going to learn a building block or a technique that you're going to be able to turn into several applications, whether it's a soup, a barbecue sauce, or actually a base or a bed that you'll use for braising meats. In mirepoix, your standard formula is the onion, the carrot, the celery. It's very important that ingredients are the same size. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to measure it. We're not in culinary school, but it, you know. Did they measure it in culinary school? Oh God, yeah. They, no. you know, yeah. Really? You have to. <laughs> things are measured, and it's super anal, especially in French technique. We're gonna use my little friend, um, the shallot. You gotta love squash, whether it's egg corn or. Kabuka. You know, there's all these crazy squash out there, but butternut squash is a great fall squash. I brought you guys here for a reason. You're gonna make you us work? Yes. I'll do it. Here. So. Do you have parents? How come you didn't give her onions? You should have gave her onions. She see, always uh, gives me the onions. My grandma used to do it this way. Yeah, see? So She'd be like, darling, here. Yeah, and yeah. her grandma didn't have any fingers. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, there, the thing is, there's no wrong way to do it, but it's the key is having a quality <laughs> recipe. I come at food from a different angle, and it's just a constant search for me to make things that aren't like everyone else. We're using kosher salt. It's simple, it's still not overpriced, and... And the rabbi approves. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you start here and you can make a hundred things from this. You know, Flavor Quest is, is showing people how to work with flavors, how to work with ingredients and yeah. make it their version, you know, because yeah. it doesn't have to be someone else's version. You know, it, it, I want people to realize that they can personalize and customize their food. All right, so let's go. We're getting to the next round. So, I don't do onions. I'm going to do detail. Onions. I love having a so, project. We're going to use chipotle chili because we're going to make a really yummy, simple, uh, smoky barbecue sauce. Cooking's all about exploration. Cooking's all about, it's a personal experience. It's a, loud, it's a chance for you to be creative with ingredients. So check this out. This is liquid smoke if you haven't ever smelled it. It's really That's smoky. It's smoky. It's smoky it's Robinson. Smoky, it's smoky it smells stuff. like a fireplace. <laughs> Hope it doesn't I taste like that. I just want to put it all over myself like and embers. get smoky. <laughs> all right, so here's the squash here. It's kind of hot, but nice. you guys cut that and blow on it. I'm not sharing it with her. Share it with it's me. It's just real simple. And then while you're tasting it, I'm going to add it. It's really hot, dude. It's really hot. <laughs> Nobody knows how it's supposed to taste. That's the thing that we all have to remember. Nobody knows what it's supposed to taste like. So if it's your family or friends, you know, unless it's a baked good, it can always be a little bit different. Let's give it a try. And again, we've kept a real thick. A soup can be how you want it. You know, mm. it's... In this case, we wanted a thick, hearty soup. Mmm, that's yummy. Nice. You like that? A lot of depth. Mmm. Flavor is yours and it's personal, so you need to customize it and you need to make what you like to eat. I'm gonna finish the barbecue sauce. So here we go. Mm. Alrighty, so let's have some sandwich. Some. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> to Flavor Quest! Yeah, good baby! <laughs> I'm good. I think one of the biggest misconceptions that people have about cooking is that it's ultra difficult and um, they have to be formally trained or they have to have the most expensive ingredients. And that's just not the case. Simple ingredients, a solid recipe, a little bit of skill and technique, and you've got it. Mm -hmm. 